Here's a quick guide for defeating Corrupted Boss on Nightmare Difficulty. I also wanted to craft the Stonebreaker melee weapon, so we need to keep the Guardian alive during the fight, which will give us the Hollow Heart crafting material. The idea behind the build is pretty simple. We rarely stop moving and let our damage over time abilities kill the boss while we only have to worry about avoiding the Guardian and the Red Beam attack. Here's how I set it up. For Archetype, the only one I recommend is Engineer and set the turret to Flamethrower. You can choose any secondary archetype, but Explorer is probably ideal for increased movement speed. We're using Enigma and specifically its mod ability Chaos Driver to deal damage and Merciless with Twisted Wounds to apply bleeding. Next we set up our amulet and rings to enhance mod ability regen and duration. I went with Lemire Sensor amulet which increases the mod duration by 50% with the cost increasing 15%. Having the Chaos Driver mod stick to the boss longer seemed perfect for what I wanted to achieve. I used Ring of Diversion for increased invulnerability while evading and sliding. Stone of Malevolence which will get our mod power back a lot quicker. Stone of Balance for a flat 7% increase in damage. And Catalogger's Jaw for even more passive mod power regeneration. You can also use Heart of the Wolf for more movement speed if you like. For traits, I maxed out Swiftness, Vigor, Endurance, Bark Skin, Recovery, and you can put the remaining points in either Spirit for even more mod power generation or Siphoner. Swiftness is the real MVP trait, so this is why I recommended Explorer as the secondary archetype. In my footage, I ran with Handler to aggro the Guardian and revive me if I go down, but it's not needed at all. As mentioned, the strat is to just run around circling the area while avoiding the Guardian and shooting the Corruptor with Chaos Driver or Bloodline whenever it's off cooldown and apply bleeding. Try to set up the turret in the middle after landing your jump over if it's safe to do so. You have about 5 seconds before the Guardian jumps over to your platform. So if you're within its stop range then time a roll and hightail it to the next jump. It's, if its arms are close, you can destroy them with your weapons, but most of the time you can just ignore them. That's really all there is to it. I'll let the gameplay play out, but hope this helps and thanks for watching.
you got. Move along, traveler. I'm a busy woman. <laughs> 